So uh, now we are going to the data entry piece. And this is something that is, was very important for us and it, it was like a lot of hard work, uh, but I think completely worth it is, uh, you know, that we have been uh, uh, supported the QR data elements and attributes for, for a long time now, but also in this version, we are supporting GS1 data matrix QR codes. These are like a special QR codes, uh, which are matrix representation that allows to store more information as the regular QR codes. And this is widely used in uh, in many applications, especially for the ones that need to identify like uh, internal products as the logistics uh, management. And one of the most important use cases that we are having this year that we would like to support is like uh, using the Android application to support basic LMIS, uh, basic logistic management information system, right? So the way that this is working is like a, a, when we are scanning this QR matrix code, uh, it can be the information contained in the QR code can be saved in different attributes or data elements, okay? And in this case, uh, the way that is working is uh, uh, for, the, for the logistic part, the logistic piece is saving the QR code, the different tokens in uh, attributes or data elements that represents the serial number of a product, that represents the expired date of a product, that represents the product, the product number uh, and so forth. So I'm going to show you how it looks like from an Android perspective, from an end user perspective. And then uh, my colleague Marcos, Marcus is going to explain how uh, you can configure this in the server side in order to have this functionality in Android as well. So um, we have a program here that is called GS1 program. And here in this program, we are collecting uh, different products, right? So I'm going to open a product just to, for you to see how it looks like. It's very simple. It doesn't contain even events, uh, but I, if I click on the details in the product data, I can see that there is a QR code, that this is one, and then a serial number. This is coming from the QR code, a lot number, an expiration date, and a, and a GTI, and that I think this is a product number, right? So imagine that now my use case is like I am receiving a product that it contains a QR code, it's a stick to the product. And then I would like to know if that product exists in my, in my inventory, right? So let's do it. So I'm going to say this one. So, and for that, I have this screenshot. Okay. Basically this screenshot uh, so represents a sticker with uh, the QR code and this QR code contains information about the serial number, about the product code, about this code, the tone code, I think is being called, and the expire date, hours of 2020, right? So let's see if this exists first. So uh, I'm clicking here on the search, and now I can search by the by the QR code. I'm clicking here, so I need to read that one. Okay, I read it. So now I'm clicking on the search button to see if that product exists or not. Okay, there are no results for this search, so now uh, I can create a new one. Okay, I need to specify, of course, the enrollment of the unit and the date. Okay, and now if I open the product data, I have here all this information. I have the QR code, okay, here, but also you can see the serial number, that is this serial number over here. You have also the lot number, the, the, this, this number over here. You have also the, the expiration date that has a different format, but basically represents also the 8th of August of 20, August 2020, okay, and the and the product code uh, that is this one, okay. So hopefully this is going to be uh, very useful for the implementations uh, related to a, a logistic management. Okay, let's move on. I'm not going to say this, but.